It was a cool summer evening, and it slowly became quiet in Wolfwater. The small village was far away from the larger cities, surrounded by lush meadows and dense forests. Among the few inhabitants was not only our hero, but also his brave companion Veronica. With her father and her brother, she lived in a small hut in the center of Wolfwater. Together with our hero, she already went to many exciting and thrilling adventures. Over the time, they accumulated a remarkable wealth. However, they did not consider leaving Wolfwater to settle down in one of the large cities, although they could afford it. Over the time, they learned to love the tranquil atmosphere that Wolfwater offered. But one day, their fortunate lives were wrapped in darkness, as Veronica's brother Elwyn was struck by an unknown disease. Day by day, his health deteriorated and nobody knew a cure. Until one day, an adventurer passed through and heard what happened to Elwyn. He then visited Veronica's home to share his knowledge with her. He told her about a magical gem able to heal any disease hidden in the depths of a nearby fortress ruin. But fortune was not our hero's side, since in ancient legends the fortress was told to be haunted by a sinister shadow lord. Our hero encouraged Veronica to try it anyway, no matter how dangerous it seemed to be. Together, the magical gem and ultimately save Elwyn from his disease. The next day, they left Wolfwater, their weapons armed and ready for combat. A whole day and a whole night they wandered until they reached the fortress. Veronica strode toward the entrance gate determined to get inside and face the Shadow Lord, no matter the cost, when suddenly, like out of nowhere, something sharp struck her from behind. An undead awakened by the smell of the living had cut his rusty blade through Veronica's back. Within seconds, our hero slayed the attacker down opened the gate and pulled Veronica inside. Hi and welcome. I am Marcus, the developer of Blade Quest, the first chapter. Thank you very much for playing my game. It supports me, and more importantly, the indie revolution. So without any further ado, enjoy your adventure. Accumulation, everyone! <laughs> And welcome to Blade Quest, the first chapter. Will this game be a, a, a gem, as they as as pronounced in the beginning, or or not? Uh, we're we're about to find out. It is uh, by Fodex Games, and uh, my my uh, harping on their pronunciations, notwithstanding, it, it it's looks like it's got a the start of something here um it has a bit of a like an elder scrolls-esque feel to it um i do have some immediate feedback though and that is obviously this is a very very early the first chapter of this is supposed to be just a prototype they're going to come up with an alpha and all that stuff this will be on steam it's uh it looks like it's going to be available uh the day that you're seeing this uh the 30th of july um, the Steam version, I don't know if there's going to be a difference between the Steam version and the version I'm playing right now, which is a freely downloadable version. 
Uh, I know the Steam version is supposed to help, uh, you know, uh, fund more development for it, uh, for the game, but I'm not sure if there's any differences or not between the two. I figured I wanted to get an early look at this, and the easiest way to do that was just download the free version of it on their website that they link to. So, um, it's a first person, you know, dungeon crawler, essentially. Um, adventure game, I guess, RPG, a little very, very light, or there's actually really no RPG elements in it that I can see other than some weapons and, and things. Um, so we're going to take a look at it. I did have a problem when I was testing this where the game just crashed, so uh, hopefully we'll get at least enough of the game done to where you can actually um, see what's going on here. Damn, that hurts. I guess you have to go on alone for the moment. Don't worry about me. It's no serious injury. I think a healing potion should be enough get, to get back on my feet. I think you should find one if you delve deeper into the fortress, but be careful. So, uh, like I said, like I was getting on to, uh, the very first piece of um, advice I would give for this game, just get rid of the intro. Just entirely. I know that that was a placeholder. Uh, at least I really hope that that was a placeholder. Um... It's not necessary. Just don't, just don't bother. There's, I can see the, where you're going with it. And if you've played Skyrim and other like Bethesda games, you're thinking, oh man, they have these epic intros and the music and all that stuff. They got people just sitting around just doing that stuff. If you're developing this as a small indie dev, a one person shop as it might even be, um, just Eliminate anything that's not actually helping the game out. Um, that intro was entirely, from what I could gather, backstory. And it's backstory I don't need. Um, you know, about the, the, the her brother needing a potion, and that's why you're going on this journey, and who cares? Um, we're, we're in a castle already. We got stuff to fight. That's all you really need at the, at the moment. Now... You do have an opportunity here, um, since you have a companion that follows the player around, you have an opportunity to have non-interactive banter. And what I mean by non-interactive banter is don't make me click through the dialogue box like you just saw earlier where it was like next, next and all that stuff. Instead, just have the banter just happen, um, preferably with a voiceover. But even if it's just text, just have the text happen in a way that is not jarring um to the gameplay not covering anything up not forcing me to to click through it or hit skip or whatever and then that way if you really really care a lot about the backstory then you can do it that way just have it through this little in-game banter like oh this is what's going on okay that's cool you know i i, I it doesn't need to be as heavy-handed as you've as you've put it here um the other thing is you'll notice the game does have some performance uh, hiccups. You'll see a few more of those as we go, and hopefully you'll see enough of the game that uh, we'll be able to not have it crash on us. Now, there was no explanation as to the controls. I've figured out a few things just from clicking around here. So F actually equips my, my axe here, which is very handy because when I first was going through the game, I'm like, I don't have a weapon. How am I supposed to fight anything? And I was kind of walking around trying to avoid things, and that, that wasn't working out too well. R changes over to your bow, which is actually pretty good. You use both mouse buttons for the bow um, to aim and then fire. Um, we're going to switch to this for a second. And then E opens doors and also collects things whenever you get the hand icon. Actually, you know what? I'm going to switch back to the bow and I'm going to shoot this guy in the face. In the back of the face. Well, actually, I guess he doesn't technically have a face. All right, and now right click blocks and left click does the deed. Unfortunately, doesn't seem to help too much. And then you also have stamina bar, which I forgot about, and that's why I couldn't swing there for a minute. So all I gotta do is kinda just keep backing up and keeping these guys at bay. They're really bad at actually catching up to you. Even when I, even at a walking speed. These guys are good at, at getting a quick shot off on you though. 
Now you can break their their um, defense like that, where he kind of drops his shield a little bit, so you can hit him. So that's and I'm I'm all, all I'm doing there is holding down the button. I that's I don't know if that's how to do a charge shot or not. That's kind of what they seem to explain. Um, but it's uh, I couldn't tell you if I was actually doing that or not. Uh, successfully doing that or not. Let's go here and shoot this pretty guy in the face. And I got one more. Oh, well, I shot the other guy. And unfortunately, their animations don't line up with when they're actually hitting you. As you can see, he hit me from 9,000 miles away there. It didn't actually look like he swung. Or he swung very late. Yeah, see there, there again. So it's uh, there's a lot to be desired yet on the as far as the animations and stuff go. As far as the even the combat goes, because it's not very uh, it's not very performance. Let's put it that way. And all right, this is. So one of the things they're really gonna have to get right here is get the combat right because it's not it's not right right now. There's I see like little quotes and stuff on their Steam page about how the combat's awesome and all that stuff, and it's uh it's it's got the potential to be very awesome, but right now it's so laggy and um, clunky that I can't really recommend <laughs> this if you're looking for a intriguing combat simulation kind of thing. So here's our potions. And it looks like when you get down to a certain level, it actually automatically takes a potion because you notice I picked up two there. It says, it says I only have one. So I believe that since my health was down low enough, my character actually uh, quaffed one himself just, just because. Um, you can hit Q <laughs> uh, to actually take the potion, but I need to give one to her, so... There you are again, and you actually found a potion. Great, it begins to hurt pr It begins to hurt pretty much. Takes healing potion. <clears throat> now we can move on together. We have to fight our way to the throne room where the magic gem is said to be located. Or <laughs> magic gem is said to be located. Go ahead, I follow you. Obviously English is not the first language, but still. Um, so now we got left and right. Let's go to the left first. Let's also get my sword back out. Now that we have a companion, we can sort of... Everything will attack me, and then I can kind of let her hit, hit the guy from behind. There we go. Hey, pretty. Over this way. There you go. Alright, nothing here to grab, it looks like. And you have these chests all around. I keep looking at them to see if I can open anything open them, but that's not a thing yet. Let's take this potion. Yeah, you know, took that took that potion there. We got a couple more here and we got a, a shield. Which is good. And a key. A key looks too small to fit into the lock of the throne room doors, but it may, but maybe it fits elsewhere. Okay. I don't know if that key, maybe that key is for the, uh, it's for the chests. Didn't I see a chest in here? Uh, maybe I saw it in the other room? I thought I saw, oh, right over here. Does that fit in there? No, okay. Yeah, I think they're just I think they're just for show right now. Now I know just from playing what little I did off camera, I can't go through those doors yet up there. Uh, so instead I'm gonna come this way. And we're going to go through this door. And some guy's gonna attack us. Yeah, here he is. Hey dude. Ah! 
go. Nice, so we can get him kind of into a stun lock. Having a companion works quite a bit with that. So that's always nice. Alright, we got another bow here. And some more arrows. Always use those. So onward. Now this door should put us on the other side of that rubble. And it does. Oh, in here. We have another dude who probably wants to say hello. game crashed. All right, we're back to where we were. And uh, I should note that there is no, as far as I can tell, there's no save yet. So I had to go back and replay the game from the beginning. But again, it is a prototype, so I'm not really expecting all the creature comforts just yet. Um, so now we can move forward a little bit further, hopefully. See how far it'll, we manage it. I like how there is full physics on their stuff when they drop it, so it's like their swords and everything go flying. Can't pick them up though. At least not that I've seen. Alright. Everything so far so good. Down here. So let's uh, move forward here. I guess we'll go this way. Looks like we got another guy who I want to talk to us, I think. Yeah, we'll just beat on him until he until he keels over. All right, take that, and we got something over here. We got a book. Would you show me that? Skimming through the book. Hmm, interesting. It says there's a secret corridor leading us to, to us the, the throne room. <laughs> In the large hall we just passed through, there must be some kind of mechanism inside one of those water dispensers. Come, let's try it out. Right, let's do that. Let's get a little healing on. Shall we? I do like the art style and stuff. I, I like how it how it's looking. Um, you know, the, the clunkiness notwithstanding, I mean, all clunkiness is, is something that's going to get, that has to get fixed out, you know, eventually. So it's, you know, it's, it's bound to be clunky at first, is what I'm, what I'm getting at there. Yeah, this guy. There we go. Fill our health up and get ourselves a brand new sword, which is a two-handed one. So you can see how that's going to work out. And we got some more arrows over there. Excellent. Alright. Let's see if we can get back to the main... So they said something about the water things over here. Uh, oh, I see something here. <laughs> Maybe just a, that might be just a mistake that I see through the wall there. Uh, is this what they're talking about? Oh, here we go. There we go. Nice spiral staircase.
Alright. Very nice. Is he gonna wake up on us or? Is it giving me lots of health potions? You can in the options menu actually. Ooh. You can in the options menu actually um, modify what skill the other enemies have. Right now, as I said, left it at the default, which was medium. Behind this door should be a throne room. Be careful. I don't want you to get hurt. Okay, we go together. Three, two, one, and go for Alwyn. All right. Let's see what we got here. This guy's attention. I just stand here and let her hit him from behind. Oh, or maybe not. to get a wife here. Yeah. All right, let's get a little bit of that. Go up a bit. Yeah. 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 Come on. Yeah. Let's get our energy back, our stamina back, I mean. Just <laughs> trying to break through his shield, huh? Yeah. There it is. Okay. And that key I got goes into this treasure chest. We have it, we have it, we have the stone. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, it is saved. Let's go back to the entrance hall. I saw a key lying on the throne. Maybe we can open the locked gates. Okay. Uh, I'm kind of curious as to whether or not this other key I picked up. Oh, what? There's a key. Probably for the door there. But that other small key. I don't know what that was for. This crazy looking box over here in the corner. I know not what that other little key was for. We should be able to open these doors now, right? Yep. There we go. And maybe that was the the front door key or something. Oop. Oop, I am I am stuck on something here. There we go. Do we go back to this? Go back to where we fell in? Oh, I guess, yeah, maybe it was the door for or the key for this door. Out. There we go. Yep. Conclusions. Uh, conclusion, I mean. Thanks. Congratulations. Save all one from a painful death. Uh, thank you for taking time to play Blade Quest, uh, the first chapter. So uh, that's what we have so far on it. And it is a little unstable. It did, it did crash, but I was able to get through it. Uh, second time around here um it is just supposed to be just a prototype right now so this is you know this is what you got it's what we got right now um it is coming out on steam on the 30th so you should should be out uh probably mid midday on monday when you're seeing this so hopefully this will come out maybe like an hour or two prior to uh the release of this game on to steam you can kind of see what you're getting into there uh, as far as whether or not you're going to put money down to support the development. Like I said, it's uh, it's a good start. There's a lot of clunkiness to it right now. Um, there's a lot of things that can be... Uh, if you're going to focus mostly on the fighting, then the fighting needs to be fluid. Uh, that's the most important thing. Um, the story 
can be a secondary thing unless it's unless you really really want to push sort of the Skyrim thing, Skyrim angle. And in that case, you know, it's just like really honestly, all you really need is enough story to move you from one set piece to another set piece. Um, you don't necessarily need to have some kind of epic tale. Um, but it really depends on, on what flavor of the month you're looking for. I mean, you could certainly put an epic tale in here. You could certainly make it so that it's, uh, you know, you go to maybe different places depending on what choices you make and, and all that stuff. Um, I don't see any real RPG elements in it, so I assume this is going to be more of an action adventure game um, than an RPG, uh, So, which is fine. There's nothing, nothing particularly wrong with that. Um, so... Yeah, it's a good start. It is a good start. This has been Blade Quest, the first chapter. Uh, it is by Fodex Games. It uh, should be released. Um, the, the prototype first chapter should be released on Steam um, July 30th. They are still, they're looking to fund the development to make the alpha and make it the larger game actually come to life. So this has always been sort of a um, a teaser more than anything else, a a a, a active demo, say, um, to see if there's interest in from the community to bring bring this to fruition. So uh, there you have it, friends. As always, I will leave links down in the description so you can do your own due diligence. Thanks so much. For watching everybody, and I'll see you next time.